Namaste. Welcome to Dragonfly Cookery and Knives. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tabletop review on the Gallipoli Battle Cookery. Uh, last time that I did a video and introduced it on YouTube, I had only one version of the Gallipoli Battle Cookery to show and demonstrate. Uh, and this is this one. Uh, we did a, a new addition to this, which will be one without a full tang that goes all the way to the end with a tang stopper. It also has some corrections done on the blade to make it more accurate to the original 100-year-old uh, year, year old cookery that we uh, base the design off of. Um, now, I will add that this, even though this cookery uh, has the name Gallipoli Battle Cookery, don't take it verbatim that this was the actual cookeries that they used. It may have been, it may not have been. Uh, the reason why we designed it is because I have several of this pattern in my collection, which shows that this was um, a form of standardization of cookery and cookery design that was being used by the military during the time approximately around World War I. So I, I chose that one and I also wanted to remember the valor of of the soldiers and the Gurkhas in particular that were able to confront the Turkish army at, during the uh, World War I and the battles that uh, ensued in Gallipoli, Turkey. Uh, the, it was actually one that the British didn't win uh, in, in the course of their battle campaigns, but yet there were many times where terrific and, and um, astronomical amount of heroics was uh, demonstrated by the Gurkhas during that time. So I was bearing honor to them and the valor that they showed uh, in this cookery. So this is more of a remembrance cookery for the battle of or battles that ensued in Gallipoli, Turkey during World War I and the tremendous amount of sacrifices that were made and were made without a, a victorious end. It was actually a time when uh, the British Army had to pull away and concentrate their forces and battle efforts to other areas uh, during World War I. So this one is the original and first prototype of the Gallipoli Battle Cookery that Neem, Tan Tanji, and myself worked on. Um, I drew up the designs and gave him uh, pictures of the originals that I have in my collection with measurements and uh, dimensions and he was able to take that and create this cookery that you see here. Uh, we decided to put a tang all the way through with a tang stopper, dress it up a little bit. Uh, this does not mean that they didn't have cookeries with tang stoppers. It was common in that era. Although many of the cookery that we have now um, that are being uh, sold by Atlanta Cutlery and uh, some of the other armories that uh, collections that are out there you will find are more typically a half tang and we did do a half tang model which is what I'm about to show you. So this one comes with the leather scabbard over wood uh, with the military frogs. Um, it comes with the carta and the chakmak. It does not have a tender pouch. Um, some had them, some didn't. And uh, this is a very good uh, replica of what they would have worn and used during World War I and perhaps during the Battle of Gallipoli in, um, in Turkey. This is the new improved version. Uh, both versions will be available on our website with the tang stopper and without the tang stopper. But this one will demonstrate what the original blade will look like um, or, or the new blade will look like. It will also show the quality of the scabbard you're going to get along with the crossed cookery, uh, which was uh, an addition that Neem put on it. He does a fantastic job uh, in casting these and placing them on the scabbards. It really dresses up, makes it look quite attractive. Um, this is what the new blade looks like. And as you can see, the fullers are a little bit closer to the spine as the original would be. Uh, the blade shape, uh, the cowdy, exactly the way that, that it would have been uh, during that time. 
and it has the half tang, so there's no tang stopper at the end. You have the hardwood handle as you would have seen on the originals with the half tang through. And trust me, this is a very sturdy, secure cookery just as it was made a hundred years ago. The ones in my collection, all the handles with the half tang are secure. They're not loose. I can hit a tree stump with them and they're not going to come loose. Sometimes I'll have a little stress uh, fracture in them in the wood. This one does not have that. Of course, it's brand new. Um, now, what's really nice about this tang or uh, this uh, sheath, my pardon, also a known as a scabbard, it does come with the chalk muck and with the carta. Uh, this is a very functional carta, uh, very sharp, will be used uh, great for skinning a, uh, a deer, processing a deer, or even um, um, smaller animals, smaller game. You can use it in your uh, campsite kitchen and chopping up vegetables. Um, it can be used for any small tasks like feather sticks. Uh, it's sharp and useful. It does come now with a tender pouch. Very excellent, high quality leather that he's used on this scabbard. It has the patuka buttons. So if you wish to take the, the military uh, frog off, you can wear it in your patuka, which is a cloth that you would wear around your waist to strengthen your back during heavy labor. Um, and the buttons are used so that it doesn't slide through your patuka and, and fall out. If you're not wearing a patuka, which most of us don't, um, the, the high quality frog, single, uh, single loop, thick quality leather, um, not too stiff, and will hang nicely from your belt. Excellent quality. I, I really love the quality that he's put into this. It's not really thick. It's a nice thin uh, profile, which brings down the weight and the cumbersome of the uh, scabbard. So this is uh, excellent um, improvement on our original design and original proto prototype. Both will be of this quality. If you're interested, please uh, text me um, through Messenger on Facebook. You can look us up and see the reviews that I've done on this on Blue Dragonfly Trading Post on Facebook. Otherwise, you go to our website at dragonflycookeryandknives.com and be able to see these and purchase them. Uh, <clears throat> all of the cookeries that you see there, the stock is very limited. So I might have one or two pieces that I can ship out immediately. Uh, please message me. I can tell you whether they are available um, and then you can have them in your hands uh, very quickly. Otherwise, we do custom orders and custom uh, designs. So if you want it with a longer handle, you can message me. We will make it to your specifications. Uh, I hope that this enticed you and that you like it. Uh, it's an excellent, beautiful reproduction. Thank you very much. Namaste.